All right, so today we're gonna make some op art. This is something that I do with my fifth graders. It can also be something done with third or fourth graders or even sixth graders, but uh, this is what I'm going to do with my fifth graders. So you can use whatever size paper that you want. I'm going to use a square sheet of paper. I cut this paper to a nine by nine. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can find the middle of the paper to have the lines go to, or you can just find a random area inside, uh, close to the middle, but inside, and then have your lines go to that particular point, okay? So I'm going to find the middle, and I'm gonna have my students find the middle because I think that they need to use the ruler more often. So we're gonna do a little ruler work here and find the middle, so what's half of nine? four and a half. So I'm just going to make a small little light line at the four and a half. I'm going to turn my paper or you can turn your ruler either one and then I'm going to find I'm going to look at that line where I put that and then look at the four and a half going this way and you want to make your lines going up and down. Okay so if I put it on the first line that I made and then I go to the four and a half and I go up and down the middle of my paper is going to be right here okay that's the middle of my paper so I can erase the other lines that I don't need and if you draw a light enough the lines will go away no big deal and now we can uh, we've got the middle of our paper okay so we've got the middle of our paper and this is going to be fair, fairly basic we just need, need to make a bunch of lines going to that middle um, point. If we were talking perspective drawing, this would be uh, the vanishing point, but uh, or not. It's kind of a perspective drawing, but this is more of a, an op art, you know, the optical illusion of what's happening. And it's going to look like tubes uh, or half pipes going down towards the middle of the paper. Okay. So I'm just gonna line up my, my point in the middle and then I'm just gonna draw a line. I'm gonna keep it fairly light because the pencil doesn't matter. We're gonna end up coloring this anyways. And then we're gonna do that every so often. So we want to space it out a little bit and then we wanna try and keep those spaces pretty similar. So we could measure this if we want to and try and get three lines on each side, which is roughly what I, I believe that I want to do. So I'm going to try and have this get fairly close to the corner because you can see that this line is close to the corner. This line will be fairly close. I'm going to try and shoot for getting three lines per side of the paper. Okay, So there's another one and then and actually realistically I could just draw a line right down the middle, okay? And that's gonna go on both sides, okay? And then I'm going to, let's get another line in here. Okay. And then I could do another middle line, or actually, I'm going to do a line. We could just go straight across if we like, but I like them to be a little bit more random. I am going to do the center line, though, again, and go straight from one side to the other. And it's not exact, but it's, it's close enough. So again, we want three lines per edge of the paper, okay? So two lines left, and then we'll be done drawing these lines. Okay, so 
It's not perfect all the way around. There are different spaces in between, but what I kept consistent was I have one line, two line, three line for this side of the paper, okay? And then if I turn it, one, two, three for this side, turn it again, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, okay? So I've got three lines per side of the paper, and that's it. So that's, that's the beginning. That's the lines. So now we have to create some other lines that are gonna be curved to start creating this illusion. So the first set of lines that we're gonna make, so we're gonna make them upside down, uh, or we can call them rainbows, or we can call them frowns, whatever helps you. So I like to keep it light and sketchy just so we know we got a good line. And I'm going to make this kind of rounded there. Okay, I want to keep it light. I'm going to go a little darker just so you guys can see it on the camera. And then we want to space those out. And we want to have a nice, good size rainbow or frown uh, to help create that illusion, uh, make it stronger. Okay. And then as it gets wider, we want to spread it out a little bit more too. So don't have them so close. Like I probably want to drop another one in about right here. And then probably another one in right here. And then these will get closer and closer. Okay. And then I can probably fit at least one more. This is going to go off the page. And then I got to figure out where I believe it should come back onto the page. Okay, and that's it for that one. So these are rainbows or frowns. Now, right next to it, we're going to curve it the other way. Okay, so I don't want them going the same direction. I want these going the opposite direction. So if these are rainbows, these are gonna be smiley faces. And if it helps, because you like the rainbow motion better, then flip your paper over and do it this way, okay? Flip it over and continue to draw those. But we wanna line them up with the lines we've already got started. Try to make sure that they stay fairly round. Don't flatten your lines out, otherwise it will detract from the image, from the illusion, okay? Okay, so we have to keep going, go all the way around this, and then when we're done, then we'll start uh, coloring. I'll probably do a separate video for the filling in, but this is to get started uh, before that. All right, so we've got our outline, and what needs to happen now is color. So uh, you can use either color pencils, you can use markers. If you've got Copic markers, you can use those. Uh, whatever it is that you want to use for color, you, we could even do this in just straight graphite and do shading, uh, like I did in my other video for the wavy lines. That's up to you. Uh, but for my class, we will be doing color and we will be using color pencils and we are going to focus on highlights 
uh, and dark areas so we can uh, create the best illusion we can with vibrant colors. All right, thank you.